little short intro here of um, what you're going to need for this plug replacement. We're going to replace this right here. That's the plug you want to replace. So you're going to need uh, some wire cutters. Um, some of these uh, female disconnects, they're uh, found, you can find them at Home Depot, Lowe's, or Ace, or anywhere they sell this kind of stuff. In the electrical section, um, these are gauged for 14 to 16, so that's the ones you want to get. They're usually blue. And then you'll need uh, one of these, a uh, female plug end. You can see it looks pretty much like the other one. It has a little spring, plastic spring, so when you push it in, it'll it'll stay in the, the box. Uh, that's, and of course, you need, you need your grandfather connect. And I have a video on this, so I'm not going to take this apart again. But you basically got five screws here, four or five. And then on the top, you have two additional screws about right here and right here. Sorry about that. Right here and right here. That requires you to take off the top. Now, I put this red tape on because what I've done is I re-glued this and I'm just using the tape to hold the glue down until it's set because I've already fixed this one. Those are the main tools you're going to need and so when you watch the video you'll know where to get them. I'll have links posted below so you can find all this stuff. Thanks. Show you how to uh remove this little uh, connector that's inside. A big old cobweb inside of there, so sorry about that. I got it off on my finger, you can see that. Um, so this is a, a snap-in connector. It's got some little flanges inside of there. I don't want to, uh, couldn't get a good shot with my camera, but this is probably one of the harder parts. It just takes some manipulation. You can also take, uh, I was able to get it out, one of them out with a, um, using vice grip. So this came out with just a screwdriver. So you're going to see uh, the connectors I want to take off are on the left side. The top one goes to the control board and the bottom one goes to the plug. So it's the far left side that leads to the heat element go to the far left. And um, I've decided to, at this point I'm going to cut the wires because they are soldered on to the, pl the plug here so right now I'm going to use these cutters cut the uh, the wires off. You know so you want to notice where the wires work when you uh, took off the plug. All right, a little bit it's a little tight in here so I'm going to, that's the ground it's being cut first. The second one is the common wire. It, uh, it's the white one, and then the last one is the black, which is the power. I'm going to cut the black wire. So there it is. We have I have that new one, new plug, and I'm going to attach it back into the device. But first, I want I have to make some crimp-on disconnects. These are field disconnects. They're 16-14 got these at Home Depot. You can probably get them anywhere. You want to make sure you get the 1614 because the little ones are just too small for the wire and the big ones obviously are going to fall off. So first off I'm going to strip back uh, some of this uh, common wire here. There's a trip back, twist, and pull. So you get that good connection put on the um, female disconnect. At this point it would be the best practice would be to have a crimper. Uh, I don't have one so I just used my wire cutters but uh, if you can have you can afford a crimper or, or borrow one it's much better. I was able to to get this on after a few tries. 
it, this has to be really, really well done or it's going to cause a problem. Once you've done crimping as well as you can, then you want to just tug on the connector. Don't pull really hard because you know anybody can pull a connector off. As long as it's snug and connected well, so you go back and get the back side, make sure that it's all connected. Once that's done, then you can probably be sure that's going to work. Make sure that there's no um, wires sticking out of the connection. I'm going to put this wire to the side and then we're going to go ahead and apply these connectors on all of the uh, wires. Here's this first one I'm doing is a black which is the power and I, I didn't want to disconnect this from the grandfather so I just did it while it was inside. Just a little bit easier. If you wanted to you could take this and out too but I didn't feel like it was necessary last one is the, the smallest wire is the uh, ground wire. So I really, really had to crimp this down hard to get it to work. Now this is ready. I'm going to go ahead and connect the white wire, which goes on the left side as you're looking at the plug. So good. So common wire goes on the left. It's a little bit big for this plug, so what I'm going to do now is crimp the connector down a little bit for onto the... Uh, plug itself and this seemed to work really well I was couldn't really pull this off but I didn't want to make sure that it's tight if it's not tight you're going to have or you could have arcing inside of the device so we want to make sure this is as tight as possible you could solder this on uh, if you wanted to instead of using a connector but I just thought well I'll give this a try if it gets hot then I'll just take it apart again and the white wire is the shortest wire, so I was able to take that off. And you want to get this thing aligned when you get it in. And just took the black wire up to the right side. And then the ground goes on the bottom. And connect all the leads. Right there, I had, I had to recrimp one lead on there. So that's what I'm doing now. So now this is the uh, connector's going to uh, stay on a little bit better. Like I said, the, that ground wire was giving me a pain, so I uh, might want to maybe go down to the smaller female disconnect. But in the end, I was able to, to clamp it on pretty well, so it's not going to come off. I triple, triple check this thing out. You do want a ground wire. You don't want to have a component that's uh, not grounded, that's susceptible to water or moisture. But I eventually did get it to stay on, tested it, it was fine. Again, that goes on the bottom. And then once you have that ready, you can push the uh, push the connector back in, the female plug itself. And you'll hear it snap. So make sure that everything's good to go because these are a little pain to get out of the uh, connect. I did have my solder ready just in case, but I decided not to go ahead and do that. And once it's back in, clip, it goes in, and then reconnect the leads back to the grandfather. So it goes. this uh, white wire goes to the bottom, and then the control board go, goes on the top. The rest of them you didn't have to disconnect. Now this is really tight in there. You can see the wires are kind of poking up. So we'll continue next with another video.